Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here. I want to thank you all for joining this video and basically watching it, I suppose. Um, again, you're not going to see my face in the video over to the side like I normally do. This is just my regular, ordinary playthrough. Uh, something I call, and as you can see, we've, we've updated to the orbital since my first few episodes. So the first episode you saw um, basically was the old version with Omega having have come out. And uh, then the second episode, of course, now we're on the third, I think third or fourth. I don't remember which one this is. Um, you know what? I don't have to check. I don't even have to look. I can look on my own and see where we are with the episodes just by looking. Uh, let's see here. We're in the recordings. Let me just check. Here we go. Regular playthrough. This would be episode four. So you've seen the premiere. You've seen episode two and episode three, which were all recorded when Omega was uh, out. Now we're into Orbital. So this is episode four. Orbital has taken over. So we're going to continue on as we do. And, it, and the great part about Orbital is the new space stations, I can really get some good stuff in my save without cheating. So I want to be very, very clear. No duplicate uh, glitching on this. We're going to do this straightforward all the way by the books. And you'll see portions of the um, playthrough as I do them. I might even have some recordings that will come out that won't have a lot of commentary that I'll just be playing. And you'll be able to see that. And I might do some, uh, some, some audio over overlap on it at the beginning or at the end just to indicate what's going on i may do some recordings because i basically want, I want to get this main play which i by the way called my tertiary main save i have my first main save i have this main save which i really got to rename and my tertiary main save this is my third one so we're going to go ahead and get this going let's go ahead and get it started and get uh, into this into the uh into the universe if you will um and with this tertiary, I may be playing this on some nights on my own, just because I want to get my main save moving along and, you know, uh, and everything like that. So you may just see recordings that don't have a lot of audio. Uh, and just because I feel like playing it and feel like doing some something at that point. So here I'm in a space station, but the space stations changed from episode three to episode four. So we are in our newest um, ship here. This is the uh, Narayas favorite, as it's called. Um, and the space station has completely and utterly changed. I don't have a lot, as you know. I've only got about 2,500 nanites, a little over 2 million units, and I really can't afford much. Um, this is a normal playthrough. I've got some good amounts of product in here I can sell, because I did sell off a ship. So I'm going to sell those to the first one that lands, uh, as long as we get somebody, and see what we can get out of it. Now, I'm not going to be building a starship. I will build a starship. Don't get me wrong. I will be building one. I promise you I'm building one in here. Definitely. But I've also got in this save, I believe I've got the Star Runner, if I remember correctly. Yes, yes, I should be able to get the Star Runner. I'll check the anomaly and see if I can get it. I'm not going to pull it in just yet. There we go. You know, I think I could pull it in. How much money do I got, by the way? Two million. And I don't really want to buy any of these ships. Meh. Let's go ahead and sell to these guys, though. I don't want to sell the stuff I've got and bust up the economy. So, uh, we'll keep our runaway mold. Once useful springs at 400,000. Very nice. Uh, nano cables don't get us much, but 324 is still positive. Recycled surgery, uh, circuitry a little bit low, but still good. Um, I'm going to keep at least one Viking effigy. I know that's really weird, but when you're early on in the game, you kind of need these things. And these are a little bit under, but that's okay. Subatomic regulators, very sweet, at cost, good. And there we go. So look at that, I've got 5 million units now. I'm really in good shape. This will be really, really nice. And I really need to turn this runaway mold into something, you know? So, what are the ships we got? We've got a hauler, anybody else land? Just my ship and that other shuttle. It looks like we have another exocraft coming in. Okay, let's see what we can get. Um, I don't think I have a backpack refiner yet. No, no, I don't. And can I update this? I can put dioxide in it. Let me go ahead and do that. And what about you? Miles will recharge things while I'm here. I can get some upgrades while I'm here too. Uh, terrain manipulator? What's my multi-tool like? Been a while. We got a terrain manipulator. Okay, good. We need quad servos to get this repaired. That's right. Ugh. You know, that's going to be fun. But you know what? I'm in normal mode, and I do already have a paralysis mortar. So that's really good. And my output on this is pretty good. Almost uh, 2,300, so that's nice. 
Let's see what upgrades I can get with what Mieger resources I've got in my inventory. Uh, let's see. Ship resources? Let's see what we can get. See, I can't even afford it. My discount is 0%. 11, almost 12,000 nanites to get an S-class reactor. I can get a C-class, but, you know, that's kind of lame. So that explains why I'm getting such a good discount on these on my other on my other save. Um, and I can make a really decent ship. So we're going to hold off. We're going to get some nice, um, hopefully, um, discount with the Corvax as I get to know them. Let's see. We've got Infra Knife... Oh, we got an S-Class Infra Knife. And a Photon Cannon Module. Let me see which one I can use most. Let me go to my ship. Okay, that's all we got is the Photon Cannon. So, I don't have Infra Knife yet. So, let's go ahead and get the Photon Cannon. I got a lot of shields on this. 9%, 13%, 8? Yeah, oh, that's weird. I'll keep it for now, but you're going to go bye-bye soon. I'll tell you that. All right, that's an A-class. Let's go ahead and go for the Photon Cannon and get that up to date, because we need the protection when we run into pirates and stuff. And again, we're in normal mode, so I'm not too, too concerned. Uh, so Photon Cannon module. And we know in our main system we can go for Infra Knife whenever we upgrade. Um, shields? No. No, C-class, that's all. Uh, phase Beam... B-class Hyperdrive. Not really concerned about that. Okay, we'll hold off, because we're going to go through our nanites a little too quickly. And that was our exocraft guy, right? Let me just, uh, exosuit, pardon me, exosuit guy. Wouldn't mind getting more like that. And we definitely need to upgrade over here. What is this? Photon cannon. Let's go ahead and put it in. I just bought that, so that'll bring our damage up. Good. That'll help a little bit. All right. Anything in there we want to get rid of? We can upgrade our storage in this as well. I want to save it. We got room in here. We got four more areas that we can grow into, and there's plenty of cargo space for now. I do want to get another ship sooner or later, so we'll hang on to that for now. I think, yeah, let's do that. And back over here... I could really use a life support module. There is one there. How much does that cost for me to put that in? 60 oxygen. How much oxygen I got? We got plenty. Let's go ahead and put it in. It'll help a little bit. So that'll give us 10 more percent for our life support. Um, we could use some hot protection because you know we're going to go to hot planets. And then we're going to need room in here. So we got to start looking for drop pods as well. So that's the next thing I got to look for. Okay. Let's go for our exosuit. This is exocraft. Exosuit, I believe, is over here. And while we're here, check out these modules here, because any of them that are unsecured, you can get stuff from. What kind of uh, multi-tools we got? C-Class, nothing special there. I think the other side is the same. Dream of Tongues. Oh, it's an A-Class. Nice. A couple of supercharged slots on it. Another paralysis mortar. Yeah, how much is it? 180. But this one is so much better. The damage potential is much, much higher as well. So I will keep what I've got. It's a B-class, but it's it's still going to be better than the other one. Look at the cost of these things. See? Keep it. It's not a good trade. All right, what are you? You are... Exosuit upgrade. Oh, let's go ahead and do that. That's right, we just came into the game again, so this sometimes resets. Not always. And we're going to put it right there. We are going to get more slots up here, but I want to even this out. I mean, this will be the extra one, but I want to get some upgrades over here. 35000 We can afford that. And what do you got for research, my friend? Upgrade modules. Wow, we've got a nice movement module. Is there a hot module? See this cold. How much nanites I got left? i got to check that out. No, underwater radiation... We don't have any hop, but we do have movement. I'd like to, to get the movement module that'll help out. So let's do that. This is what we're looking for, but I'd rather get an A class one. I might hold off on it. So let's hold off on that for now. Let's put this in. What's the output? Nice. Nice. That's good. 228. 
Initial boost, recovery time is good, recharge rate is excellent, fuel efficiency, sprint distance is really good on this one. So that's good. Alright, I like that. It's got a good complement to what I've got right now. Um, Multi-tool? And I can't really access this guy right, so what I end up doing is I have to go up on a weird angle to get to him. I don't know why. Alright, what do we got? Uh, let's see. Pulse spitter and scanner. Scanner could come in handy. Because we'll make money on that. It's going to kill our nanites at this point. We don't have a pulse spitter. We have a bolt caster. And there's no bolt caster upgrades that are better than C-Class, I don't think, right? Yeah. So I'm not going to get an upgrade for that. Let's go ahead and do the scanner because I do want some money. Don't you? Let's put it in. Nice. We get rewards all over the place. It doesn't increase our range, but that's okay. All right. Excellent. And that'll help us. And this is going to help us get our quad. We got we got to fight some sentinels. So we're going to have to do a couple sentinel battles and get as many quads as we can because I really want to upgrade that. All right. How are we doing on nanites? We're getting low. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else I want to get right now. So let me see if there's anything over here I can take. No. Check the shelving. Occasionally you run into boxes and stuff laying around. This is a very clean station. They don't have anything laying around. Like this. This, we should be able to take something from these. There we go. Navigation data. That's okay. Is this, uh, no? How about this one? No, we're good there too. Something to look around for in these space stations. This one's secure, but you got over here. This one might not be. Good. Got some credits out of it. Not much, you know, but it's something. Don't criticize. Just accept. These guys? No? Wow. Okay. Kind of a... Oh, there's one. Got some nanites out of it. Excellent. I like running around up here. <laughs> Get a good view of things from up here, though. Alright. There was a fighter that was in there. I should have checked him out. Got some money now, so we could probably trade up for a better ship at some point. All right, I think we're clear. So let's go ahead and... Well, I want to get into a Sentinel battle. I know we've got our... Um, We need to find Artemis. We need to do that, but we are going to get ourselves upgraded because we really need to to do so. So let's go ahead and hit a um, planet. We're going to go fight some Sentinels, and that'll be at least the episode for today because we need to upgrade. All right, let's go, buddy. Off we go. Look at this. I haven't seen what the space station looks like from the outside. Let's check that out. Let's get a little further away. Oh, nice. Really cool looking. Really, really cool looking. Very nice. Oop, wrong button. Nope, still wrong button. I don't have that saved, do I? There we go. Let's get a picture of that station, because that's a really cool station. And maybe us to one side. So this will be our regular playthrough orbital edition. There we go. All right. Moving on. So what do we got? We got our planet over here, which is a toxic planet. We have toxic protection. So we should be good on that planet. What I'm going to do is, rather than going to the Hollow Terminus, I am going to go find some Sentinels. Let's head in that general direction now. Because it's a high Sentinel activity planet, so we should be able to get in some good fights there. Through the rings. And you'll notice my pulse lines are activated again. I've decided not to get rid of the mod, to add the mod in for now. The mod is always there. It's just a matter of disabling the ability to ignore the mods.
Kind of a nice planet, though. But, you know, while it's calm, it's a nice planet. What was that? Oh, I thought I saw something over there. Alright, let's scan. We got two buildings over there. One of them, I almost guarantee you, is going to be the Hollow Terminus, and the other one's probably some shelters. So this will probably be a good place to land anyway, because it'll have a landing platform. Not a platform, but there you go. Landing grid? I don't know. Wouldn't call it a grid, it's round. There might be a name for it. I don't know what that would be. So how do I recharge that? Let me just check here. Okay, we got ammonia to do that. Alright, very good. Anything we can grab from over here? Nope. Alright. So now we just need a... I do not see any shelters I can go into. So this will be an interesting fight. Let's get a tunnel carved in case we need to... Well, if we go up high, they're not going to be able to fight us from up there. Alright. Boatcaster. Alright, we're all set. Let's find ourselves a sentinel. It says high sentinel activity, but I'm not seeing much. While we're waiting... Because if they're going to show up, this will piss them off, so... There we go. How are we doing on resources, by the way? We could always use more of that. We definitely need more sodium. We're okay on the others. Not great, but we're okay. Now let's scan some things. Let's see what kind of money we get for them. 34,000. Nice. Any animals? There's one right there. 168. Very good. Ooh. Salvage container. I forgot that that was on this planet. We can definitely use that. And that will trigger things. So maybe we should do that. Because you know it's going to trigger some sentinels on the way. Not far away. We can run it the whole way. So that's good. Okay, there we go. I see sodium over there. We're going to grab that on the way. Okay, good. We'll keep getting more sodium, because we need sodium nitrate for the uh, drop pods. Now, when I get these salvage containers, it'll probably trigger the corrupted sentinels, but not the regular ones. Nice. Good, 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 good. And plus, the salvage container should be worth something. Worth some decent cash. Oop. Missed one. More sodium. We're going to let that get down a little further before we recharge it. Because we're at a point where we want to be a little bit more... Uh, ...conservative of our supplies that we have. This should give us the 500 we need. I'd like to have in my inventory. Okay. Oop. How are we doing? 391, 425, 450. I think that'll do, don't you? Alright, on we go. A little more condensed carbon. Very nice. We should be getting to our maximum capacity for that, too. Well, 315. I wouldn't say it was maximum. And I can't believe I haven't seen any sentinels yet. This is very, very odd. Oh. Yeah, it's machinery, you know what that means. I will go ahead and grab these, because we're not quite at 500, and this is only going to give us a little bit. There we go. While we're at it. There we go. Good. Alright, where's our busted, uh... Technology? I don't think we're going to be able to get this one without... Terrain Manipulator. 
There we go. Always can use some of that. How's the oxygen doing? We were at 800 last I checked. Yeah, we are still. Good. Okay, what do you got for me, my friend? Other than living slime. Nanites. Okay, good. That's fine. You can always use those. Alright, so here's our damaged machinery. Oh, you know what? Those guys will definitely attract friends. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong one. We were in the right spot. <laughs> See? There we go. That's it. Okay, so what do we get? There's 327,000 units. That's pretty good. I uh, can't put that in my ship. It's too far away. We have ourselves... I forgot we had ourselves a Sentinel Boundary map. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll hang on to that. Okay. So, we have our bolt caster. Right? Oh, there's another animal there. Let me go ahead and scan him. Okay, 90,000 for him. Fifty-six thousand for that one. Okay, good. Big guy, how much are you gonna give me? Thirty-four. So just scan what you can. That's definitely an early game thing to do. Uh, that one just killed something over there. That was a red dot for a second. 89,000. What are we up to? Four of six. Well, that's great. Um, any flying ones? We've got... How many are there? Let's check that out real quick. Uh, flying and flying. Well, that's great. So we just need the two flying ones to show up, which they may not show up during the night. Maybe they only show up during the day. Okay. Well, that's good. All right. So guess what? We're going to have to scare the crap out of everybody. And these give us Gravitino Balls, which are worth quite a bit. I'm going to grab them all while I can. Oop, missed one. Got it. So we want... Oh, there it is. There's a quad over there. Shoot. Got it. Trying to hide behind a rock. See? Got him. Good. Gather up our green barrels. Any more? I don't think there are. So we're going to work our way back now to our ship. So we got one quad. Do do do. Whoop. Careful. And we do want them to follow us. See how the time resets when you hit them? Of 
close. Ooh, he's getting me hard, huh? There we go. I don't have as much protection yet. Whoop. Whoa. Got him. No, I left behind something. I want these barrels because I'm it's early. See, now the walker is another story. Bring him in. Because you want the platform for this. Um, where'd he go? Can they not see me? I gotta wait for that to recharge. There we go. Got their attention. Okay. Really far away. See, I want those green barrels, and I don't want to hit them now. Because there's my place right there. Hi, boy. Come on, kids. There we go. One down here. This is the longest time it's taken me to lure them in. All right, there we go. All right, what platform should we shoot from? I think the medium platform up there ought to be pretty good. Okay. Just hit them. Let them reset their timers. And as they get closer, see my shield is already resetting. Come on, boys. Come on in. You're first. Gone. 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 Who's next? Gone. There he is. Gone. Gone. Keep going. Keep going. Alright, so we're going to go up some stairs here. Because this guy's a little longer, or a little taller than I thought. Let's go to this platform. Yeah, that'll work. Hi, buddy. Yeah, he can't hit me from here. Isn't that great? A little trick for you. So I'm not getting a second quad out of this, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this guy. Somebody's shooting me. I think he might be. Got him. Ooh. Yeah, 
let's go to this end. There we go. Alright, I may want to go down to a lower platform. Because I need to have access to his legs. I'm too close. Still a little too close. Let's go up. Let's see where he'll end up at. Nope, that's the big guy. Little guy? I don't know what we want to call that guy. Yep, hi there. Just stand still for me. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. And that means the other little guy down there. There we go. We got two brains out of it. Excellent. Hey, what are you doing here? We got rid of you guys. All right, who's next? Should have the walker around still. Nope, they're all gone. So we've disabled them on this planet. Excellent. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, we did pretty well here. Very little damage, and we got the best protection we possibly could by running around on here. We're going to pick all of these up. Five sentinels? Come on now. Give it to me. Ten. Keep going. Fifteen. Come on, gotta be more than that. Alright, got good stuff out of this. That's good, 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 good. Twenty. Keep going. Thirty. I don't know if it was more than thirty. I think we're done. I think we're... I don't think we hit 40. Let's just check real quick. Make sure there's no combat supplies laying around. There are none. Oh, see, the birds came out. And there's the other one. So that's six. Excellent. Very nice. Very nice. So we can get 1,500 more nanites out of that. Plus all the nanites we just gathered playing. We're back where we started, right? What do we got in here? Let's take a look. First of all, we got our quad servo, so let's go ahead and repair something, and that is going to be this spot right here. Alright, so we now have another supercharged slot. Uh, let's see. Ricochet, damage. We'll put the damage one in here. There we go. It can increases. Let me see. 2304? Let's find out. No, it doesn't do a thing. So that increases the damage a little. We never used our paralysis mortar. That's hilarious. Alright, back over here. We have two hard frame engines. Let's hang on to those. We might need them. Two brains. We can use one for a combat um, scanner for our ship. And we got ten of you guys. Let's see what we get out of it. Lemium. Uh, exosuit upgrade. Let's go ahead and grab it. What does that give us? Core health. All right. That's good. That's good. We're running out of room. We're going to need to upgrade soon. Another one. What's that one give us? Sprint distance and shield strength. That's okay. Let's get you going. Speaking of which. Okay. Oh, we got another. We got three map. We got four maps. That is awesome. Another exosuit fragment. And one more. Okay. So let's put this in our ship. We can always use that. I'm going to put the pugnium in our ship as well. These are worth quite a bit. I'm probably going to sell half of those. Put that in our ship, too. We're going to sell these. 
Uh, let's see. Last two. So this goes into the ship. It looks like we got another dirty bronze out of it. All right, so this one is okay. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to uninstall it and install this one and see what we get. Hmm, shield strength, life support tanks up 45%. And this gave us uh, quite a bit of room. I'm going to hang on to this. I'm just going to put it in my starship for now, along with the Atlanta DM while I'm thinking of it. And that. Okay, good. While we're at it. Okay, so we're selling all this. So we're going to get another 100,000, 400,000, and about another 160 out of that. So let's pull... There we go. Good. While we're here... Well, let's get our... Where are you? Runaway mold. Let's get that moving along. Gives us another 600, and it takes us six minutes to get that, so we'll go ahead and do that. All right. All right, we're in good shape. How does our nanites look? 2,500. We could have sold our upgrades and got more nanites, but I think we're okay shape right now. All right, shall we? Get the Artemis mission going real quick. Ow, hit my head. Yeah, we'll take the stairs. All species on two planets. Very nice. Okay, good. All right, let's get this going. We need to repair it with probably sodium, right? Yes. Terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. Very nice. The extra power should allow me to reestablish the connection to Artemis. And to an Artemis. I try to locate Artemis frequency, uploading the data from our previous communication. Okay. And there's Artemis. There she is. Who's, who's there? Y you. It's you again, isn't it? You really are real, aren't you? You aren't a dream. Say you are real. Hmm. Am I? I'm sorry. It's hard to think here. Something's wrong with the... Tzz. It's easy to create a better reality when you have to. I thought you might be a dream. I'm sorry. I haven't heard another voice in so long. Not since I cut the speaker for my exosuit. It said such terrible things. Ask who they are. The stranger smiles through the static. I'm just like you. You are a traveler of worlds, aren't you? Ask how they know. They do not respond with speech. They transmit a vision, a red star with a fragile world. I do not understand the shapes within, the whispers. I see life forms scattered to the far reaches of the galaxies. I see the stranger's first breath yearning for the stars. I see myself slumbering in the crimson void, waiting for a dream of worlds. And through the darkness I hear it said, Anomaly detected. Designation, Traveler. Awaken. What I showed you just now, it has haunted me since I awoke. You must recognize it too. We are the Travelers, discoverers of worlds, indeed. From the moment you opened your eyes, you must have known you were not like the others. So did I. Before I became stranded here, I was on a journey to... Psst, to finally meet. It cannot be a coincidence that you found this signal. Tell me, do you still have the data log from my from that crashed ship? Upload the data. I upload my exosuit's records, including the strange transmission I received and the data I found of the crashed vessel. Much of my equipment is damaged. I'm alone, on foot, stranded on a sunless world. I don't even know how your signal is reaching me, but this ship you found, it belonged to me once. Perhaps there is hope after all. We need to work out where we both are. If you build a signal if you build signal boosters across this system, we should be able to triangulate your position. I'll be able to bzz, find my way out, and you'll get all the answers you need. Agree with the plan. Thank you, Traveler. You're going to save my life. You're going to find me. Okay. So, the holographic terminal is done. We've learned how to build the signal booster automatically. We need a metal plate and a carbon nanotube as well as sodium to build it. Alright. Ah. Raiders. Frigates. Pardon me, frigates. And you're still chugging along. 58%. Okay, we'll let it go for now. Ah, uh, let's see. 
anything else to discover here to give me a little more cash? I don't think there really is. Uh, I've got a monolith over that way. That's interesting. Monoliths are handy because they can give us good stuff. Um, let's head over there real quick and grab it. And I do want to get some more salvage data. I think not salvage data. Well, I do want that too. Um, but I want specifically, ouch, hit my boosters a little late there. I do specifically want to be able to get, um, sodium. Grab some sodium. I want to be able to get some more salvaged, uh, not salvaged data, the other stuff that I was picking up out of the ground. Because that'll be worth it to me, to have extras of those. For extra money. Okay, so I'm going to take all this sodium here. Doesn't seem to be giving me a ton of sodium, but that's okay. Because like I said, I do need sodium nitrate, and we can turn this into sodium nitrate. I have my advanced laser, so if I run across the yellow... Uh, Crystals, I'll go ahead and grab those too. There we go. I think we cleaned it all out for the most part. Ah, yeah, that's good. Did I mark the monolith? I did. Okay. Hmm, let's see. First, we'll go ahead and boost you. Huh, our ammonia must be in our ship. Let's go ahead and get our life support going. Same thing with our dioxide for some reason. That's okay. I have to remember to carry that on me, not my ship next time. Ah, what have we here? Very interesting. Corvax. Okay, accept the knowledge. Okay. Let's grab the words real quick here. And you know, if we had the other portion of it done, the Atlantidium and stuff like that, the Atlantid missions, we'd be able to get that other stuff here. Eight words, yes, I gotcha. I'm trying to learn a ninth, but you keep interrupting me. Okay, let's see what we get out of this. Uh, strange vision. Let's see. Exbergen, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I feel faint as if my mind is being invaded. Pustules on my skin grow, bubble, and pop, and I feel countless tiny stabbing pinpricks scrabbling from, scrabbling from each gaping hole. Suddenly, metal spiders, perhaps tiny sentinels, run up my shoulders and into my visor. Can this be real? This cannot be real. I start to scream. So do we wait, fire a weapon, or scrape them away? We wait. Hallucination fades. I pass some sort of test. A reward materializes. So we get a word, and we get a Corvax casing. Now, if we want to, we can use that Corvax casing, I think, to locate a portal. We now have a portal. Excellent. There it is over there. I am stoked. Good. We got a portal now in our main system. So we can come and go when we get to that point. Ooh, crystals. Those are worth money right there. And since there's no sentinels around to get mad or angry, I'm just going to go ahead and grab them. Because they give you these gl glowing minerals, which are turned into other items that are worth money. Okay, good. We got three. Let's see what we got out of them. We got more lemium. We got iridocyte and aronium. Very nice. Very nice. Got an ion battery. Good. Two of them. And some condensed carbon. Very nice. Alright, anything else around here? Okay, how, how far away is that? 826 and 875. I've got two containers out in that direction. That is I'm going to mark in my inventory. 
an inventory mark on my map here and we are going to head there with our ship because I want more of that stuff it'll be very very handy to get let my backpack recharge my running juice tends to land last a lot longer now so that's good Slope's going to stop me from running here soon if it gets any steeper. There we go. Good. And how far along are you? Yep, looks like we're done. Did it run out? Nope, we're good. Good, good, good. Excellent. So now we got 3,000 nanites is what we're up to. Excellent. All right, we're in good shape. All right, in our ship, we're going to head out. Um, what we should do is we should be putting down a scanner. Let me go ahead and do that. Signal booster. We need one metal plate, one carbon nanotube. Let's do that real quick. Triangulate position. Now we can leave it or we can pick it up. And we're going to pick it up. Let's go get our salvage container, shall we? Here we go. I don't know if the Corrupted Sentinels pop up or not when we do this, but we'll find out here. Now anything above it is going to be eliminated. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I guess the Corrupted Sentinels will still appear. Oh, and they immediately destroyed. Rare item found. Nice. What do we get? Ooh, worth almost two million credits. Now you know why I'm going for this stuff. And the Sentinel that popped up immediately was destroyed. Fascinating. Any more? Just out of curiosity? Because I don't know how many popped up. Usually for this, they like three or four of them pop up, but I guess not. All right, so we got 756, 649. This should be one really close by. There it is, 258. Let's run over to this one because it's not far away. At half the distance with my jetpack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, Mom. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to name my exosuit Mom. Yes, Mom. All right. Wow, this is a big one. Look at the size of this thing. Woo. Nope, didn't get much out of that one this time. Uh, but we've got two of them to pop up. This is really cool. I'm liking this a lot. Um, I see some broken machinery over here. I'm just going to grab the stuff from it real fast. And the, of course, buried technology. Launch fuel. Okay, good. Should be right there. Here it is. There we go. Uh, before we run away. 489. 636. You know what? Our launch fuel should be fine. Let's go ahead and head over there. Look at that. Twenty thousand on foot, huh? Okay. K. 
Okay. And there we go. And we just got some old odd valves. So not worth much. Just the one alone that we got was definitely worth our time, just to be clear. I'm just checking to see if there was any others around. There isn't. 566. There should be one really close by. 155 and 701. Get that one. We've got to be running out of room out of room in our inventory here. Hold on. Yeah. I'm glad I checked. Uh, what should we get rid of? Really don't want to get rid of anything. All the stuff I need. So... There we go. Alright, so what do we want to put in our inventory? We've got Atlanta DM. We're going to put that in our ship. And the launch fuel definitely needs to go in our ship. We're going to put the salvage data in there too. Okay, good. So we got three slots available. We're going to be hitting the space station here. You know we are. Uh, let's see. Okay. I love that. Coming chip. Okay, good. And they're worth a little bit, you know? 269, look, 300. It's definitely worth your time to get these things. I mean, 266 is the cheapest one I've got. There is an unknown building over there. We'll be checking that out. 585. 544. Let's go to this one first, I think. We'll hit the building after that. It looks like it's just a shelter anyway. Funny, for all the toxicity that's going on right now, I don't seem to be getting a whole lot of, uh, uh, what do you call it? It's not dropping as fast as I would have expected it to. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, it looks like it found me the, uh, the sentinel nest as well. We should probably head over there and see what kind of multi-tool they got. Maybe they got a good one. What? No, oh, those? Nah, we don't need those. We don't need those. Okay. Salvage container. Okay. Oh, no sentinels to pop up. And we got weathered bearings. Okay. So we're going to go back. Is that what I think it is? I'll hold off on it. Yeah. So we're going to go back the way of the building. There it is, right over there. And we'll hit that on the way to the other salvage container. And then our inventory should be full. Right? I think we're... Yeah, we got one more spot left. I don't want to fill up my ship inventory just yet. Oop. Crap. <laughs> Watch your juice. Oh, a couple more blue flowers over there. There you go. What do you got for me in here, my friend? Nanites. Encrypted data, which might give me more nanites, or navigation data, of course. I'll just get some carbon out of you guys. Anything over here? Sometimes there's other stuff. Uh, well, life support, because we did get our health upgraded, so that'll get us at maximum. Good. Alright, and there was one over... Where'd it go? There it is. Right there. Alright. And how far away are you? Okay. So we got one. One more we get. More ammunition. Good. And so... Ooh, Geknip. That's... 
not to be used here that will get us arrested. Um, that's illegal to carry. Let's head towards the ship a little bit. I'm going to put that in the ship for now. And let's get our last item from the salvage container over this way. And then we'll, pull, we'll call in our ship over here. All right. I'd say this was a fruitful adventure today. It's in, we've just about gone an hour. Waiting for my jetpack to fully charge. Hmm. Let's call on the ship right away because I've got stuff I can get here. There we go. And why not? Let's check you out too. Before we get destroyed by that guy over there. Hmm. It didn't give me anything yet. Sometimes you have to do that. Doesn't always happen that way, but that's okay. Alright. Should look like the rest. There we go. There we go. What did we get? 270. Okay, can we pick these up, or is it going to tell us... Okay. Okay. Okay, that should be it. So how do we do? Let's check our starship, too, because we got stuff that just dropped in there. All right, I've got a good amount of Atlantidium as well. Uh, looks like we got, uh, that is for our exosuit. Okay, good. It's good that we have some antimatter because we can make a, another warp cell. Where's our warp drive? There it is. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Nice. All right, good. Good, and we got a good amount of uh, salvage data. That's nice. All right, let's head over to the Sentinel Hive. And we'll end our episode probably at the space station, I'm guessing, once we get going. Uh, how far away? A minute? All right, I need to charge some things. Let's use the launch fuel. Okay, and... There we go. And the Sentinel Hive is only less than a minute away. There we go. 30 seconds. All right. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I would go out into and pulse drive over to it, but, you know, no big deal. No big deal. All right. So this will be our fourth episode. Good deal. And here we are. Sentinel Pillar. And that's because of all the destruction out here. I just got our next achievement for the Sentinels. Let's grab those. Seriously? Everything's full right now. Can't do it. We are literally so full in inventory. So we got carbon. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Now we have room. Oh, it did it. Oh, well, that's interesting. I didn't know it would do that. And we got ourselves another quad servo out of this. Fabulous. Let's go over here and open up one of our other slots. There we go. Beautiful. So you know what that means. So while we have inventory full over here, which I'm going to put that over in my starship now because you had an extra spot. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, I know my inventory's full. Why are you keep... Hmm. Okay, hold on a second. Let me do something here. Um, we're going to put you into there. I don't know what it gave me. Oh, give me another exosuit up upgrade. Okay. And this should be the other one. There it is. Hmm. No complaints this time. Should get another shard. We got pugnium. All right. So we're kind of short on room, definitely, right? We don't have any room for anything else at this point. All right. Let's go in here. See what you got me. Uh, let's see. Weapons technology. Ugh. And there's not even anything on it that's worthwhile, so that was worthless. But we got some stuff out of here. Oh, it's got to exit us first. There you go. Okay, we're done. Let's grab some supplies. Okay. Okay. Just waiting. Alright, we're all done there. Alright, let's head up to the space station, sell off some of the stuff, and we'll come to an end of our episode. So here we go, off we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, up. Okay, where's our space station at? Looks like it's down that way. Everything's down that way. We're not going to head towards the Artemis thing. There. And there's our portal down there, so that's good. And we now have a portal address. Pulse drive is getting a little low. Uh, we'll go ahead and use our pyrite. Yeah, I'll talk to you. What do you got? Needs repair. Uh, yeah, we'll give you a hydraulic wiring. What did he give me in return? Cool. Some nanites. I can always use those. Whoop. Ah, I didn't want to go into the anomaly. <laughs> I'm so used to going into the anomaly every single day. Uh, that's okay. Let's get landed and we'll we'll take back off again. All right, off we go. And here's our space station. In we go. All right, let's sell some of the stuff off that we've got. We've got a lot of things we can sell. Really looking forward to this. This, I think we have room in our exosuit, so we're going to sell it in there. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. We need, we can make that... Uh... Are you kidding me? I don't have a teleport receiver in here. I can install it. I need antimatter. Of course I do. Let's do that. There you go. So now I can really get stuff into my ship. <laughs> All right. And hopefully somebody will be landing here in a moment because that's who we're going to sell to. Uh, I recommend selling to pilots because if you sell to the station, you can sometimes disrupt part of the economy or change the economy in, a, in one way, form, or fashion. Whereas if you sell to the traders that come in on other ships, like this one coming in right now, um, you can usually get the same or similar kind of pricing, and it doesn't affect the economy at all. And he's got a hauler. Okay, so we're going to make some millions here. What do we got now? 5.63 million. 6.4. 5.64, pardon me. Should appear right here. There we go. Hello, research entity. Offer to trade. Sell. Alright, what do we got? We're going to get rid of the Gecknip because we don't want that on there. It's contraband. Weathered bearing for 218. Uh, dirty bronze. Good. Sprockets. The four Gravitino balls. We're going to leave the hard frames alone. Humming chip. Magna gold. Lemium. Iridocyte. Aronium. 1.8 million. We're only getting a little bit of a dip on that. Sparking belt. Odd valves. Weather stained inlet. All right. 
that should be everything, right? And we are at 9.6 million. Fantastic. Hey, let's grab this while we're at it. Good, 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 good. A little ammonia. Didn't hurt anybody. Okay, good. What do we got? That's my ship. Another hauler. Another hauler. This hauler is everywhere. Any other ships? And a shuttle that just landed. Alright, so that should do it. Um, how are we doing on... We can't upgrade our exosuit any further. Um, I am going to hold on to those upgrades for now. I could sell them at 1,440 nanites at this point, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait. Uh, and we'll see what we can do about that later. And we need to upgrade our ship at some point or get a new ship. I'm really hoping to get a nice fighter. This ship, this Explorer class, is really great for exploring, though. The um, hyperdrive range is exceptional for early game. So I'm really happy about it. Plus, it's got pretty decent maneuverability. So we're going to go ahead and keep it for now. And I'm going to go ahead and get a save point going. And there we go. Good deal. Oh, look, a fighter, right? Yeah, got to get a fighter coming in right about now. Ship's coming and going. Ship's coming and going. Looks like another shuttle coming in. Yes, it is. So what do we got there? An A-class at 13 million. Let's check it out. Maybe do a comparison with the ship I've got. Can't afford it right now, but... Oh, three, up, three supercharged slots as well. We'd have to probably do an exchange, because we don't have the credits, right, to buy it. But we can do an exchange on it. Uh, what has it got? 2819, we're at 2919. So we're actually better off keeping our current ship. Doesn't really have much else to offer except one upgrade at seven percent. So, yeah, yeah, not gonna, not gonna worry about it. Ooh, you heard me go. Ooh, ooh. T class though, twenty six fourteen, a lot less room than we have. All right, yeah, we'll have to stick with what we got. Okay, so you know we know what we're doing. We're gonna continue on with the Artemis missions, and we will get this ball rolling. So I want to thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody. Please hit that like again, like I said. Appreciate it. All right, folks. Take care.